So, in this video, we'll be discussing most powerful tests of exponential distribution using Nema person lemma. Finding the most powerful test of an exponential distribution is the same thing as finding the critical region of that exponential distribution. So, an exponential distribution is a continuous uh, variable, is a continuous distribution, and it has only one parameter. So, going further, we are going to have uh, this to, in order for us to understand the most powerful test and uh, how to use a lemma person lemma to find the most powerful test of a distribution. But in this video, under consideration, uh, exponential distribution is uh, what we are going to be looking at. So let x1 substitute x2, xn constitute a random sample from this distribution, which is exponential distribution. Now we have to find the most powerful test of size alpha. The first thing we are going to do is to state the hypothesis solution hypothesis. So we are testing um, no hypothesis against the alternative hypothesis. How are we going to have this here? H subscript H naught equals to theta equals to theta naught, which is the no hypothesis and uh, versus H1 theta equals to theta one which is an alternative hypothesis. So we are testing no hypothesis against alternative hypothesis. Now, the exponential function is given as f of x semicolon theta equals to theta exponential raised to the power minus theta x, we should not forget that our theta is the only parameter in this distribution. Now, the MPF, most powerful test, the formula we are going to be using in order to arrive at that, we are going to have this MPF equals to lambda equals to likelihood of theta naught divided by likelihood of theta 1 less than or equals k. So we are dealing with likelihood of theta naught divided by the likelihood of theta 1 the less than or equals to the constant. Now, the first step we are going to do here, since we have this formula here, that has to do with taking the likelihood. So first of all, we take the likelihood of this distribution. That leads us to the next slide. So take the likelihood of the function. And taking the likelihood of the function, we are going to have a likelihood of theta equals to theta raised to power n exponential raised to power minus theta summation x. This is the likelihood of exponential distribution. Now, since we have L of theta, slotting this into the formula, we're going to have a theta 1. Here is going to be, I mean, if this is theta naught, here will be theta naught, here will be theta naught. And if you have theta 1 here, here will be theta 1, here will be theta 1. And this leads us to the next step. We have a likelihood of theta naught divided by likelihood of theta 1 equals to theta naught raised to power n exponential raised to power minus theta naught summation x over theta 1 raised to power n exponential raised to power minus theta 1 summation x less than or equals k. So with, with slotting this likelihood into most powerful test formula and we already have this now one thing we should note is that this theta naught is raised to power n and this theta one is also raised to power n therefore there is a way whereby we can split this in order to have this this leads us to the next step and we're going to have a theta naught over theta one raised to power n multiplied by the exponential, exponential raised to the power minus theta naught summation x divided by exponential raised to the power minus theta 1 summation x. Now, less than or equals k. This is exponential function and this is an exponential function. So, 
both the numerator and the denominator have the same base, which is exponential. Now, using our simple knowledge of indices, we can take this up, and by the time we leave this up, this sign will change to positive sign. And that will lead us to equals to theta naught over theta 1 raised to power n multiplied by exponential raised to power minus theta naught summation x plus theta 1 summation x less than or equals k, which is a constant. Now that we have this now, we have our summation x here. We also have summation x here which is common to the two sides, and we can factorize. And when we factorize this, we can also replace, in order to avoid negative to come first, we can have it as theta 1 minus theta naught. And this will lead us to the next step. So we have a theta naught divided by theta 1, raised to the power n, exponential summation x into bracket theta 1 minus theta naught less than or equals k. Now we've simplified this step to this step. So we can see now we have it simplified already. Now what we need to do now is to take in the log of the both side. And if we take the log of the both side, we're going to have this. So we have a log into bracket theta naught over theta 1 raised to the power n, exponential raised to the power, summation x into bracket theta 1 minus theta naught, less than or equals log of k. Now we can see that the whole of these are inside the bracket, which means this log reason has effect on, the, on this fraction, and it also has effect on this exponential. Now, using our simple knowledge of logarithm, this n here, we can take it back to this point, and we're going to have n log then whatever we have here. Now, log will neutralize this exponential, and therefore, we're going to have only this uh, power here. And that will lead us to the next slide here, which will have uh, n log theta naught over theta 1 plus summation x into bracket theta 1 minus theta naught less than or equals to log k. Now, we can take this to the other side here so that what will remain here is summation x theta naught minus theta, theta 1 minus theta naught. And so we have a summation x into bracket theta 1 minus theta naught is less than or equals to log k minus n log into bracket theta naught divided by theta 1. Now, we so said divide both sides by the coefficient of summation x. Divide both sides by the coefficient of summation x. And the coefficient of summation x here is the theta naught minus theta 1. Theta naught minus theta 1. We make summation x the subject. So therefore, what we mean here is summation x after dividing this with theta naught theta 1. So we are going to have the whole of these divided by theta naught theta 1. And so we are going to have our summation x is greater than or equals to log k minus n log theta naught over theta 1 divided by theta 1 minus theta naught. We can see we already have our summation x here. And this summation x that we have here, we can make it to become uh, the mean of x by dividing through by n. That is our next step now. Our target is to make this summation x to be um, mean which is an uh, x bar so for us to make this summation x to become x bar so we need to divide true by n if we divide true by n this summation x will give us x bar i said 
divide through by n if you divide through by n we're going to have um, x bar and having x bar that will make it easier for us to get the most powerful test of this exponential distribution so we have a uh, x bar is greater than or equals to log k minus n log theta naught divided by theta one divided by n into bracket theta one minus theta naught we can see we already have our x bar here and the sign change when we make this um, summation x the subject from less than or equals to to greater than or equals to so which means the whole of these fractions here is equivalent to k prime what i'm trying to say is that log k minus n log theta naught divided by theta one divided by n into bracket theta one minus theta naught is equivalent to this k prime now and this is the most powerful test of this exponential distribution now if you have this this way therefore automatically what we are saying now is that x bar is greater than or equals to k prime and that is the most powerful test of an exponential distribution so finally we have x bar is greater than or equals to k prime we stand for the most powerful test of an exponential distribution